Good morning, Taconic. We have another fantastic show for you all today, so let's get right into it. Today is Friday, December 1st, and we only have three more weeks until winter break. Today we have headlines with the Berkshire Eagle, an interview with one of this season's boys basketball team captain, and much more. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Winter sports tryouts have started this week, so best of luck to all winter athletes. Also, an intruder drill is scheduled next week, so be prepared. Quarter two progress reports are already around the corner on December 22nd, and senior photos are due on December 31st, so don't forget to submit them. There are many things happening in the Berkshires, so let's go to Ashlyn and Chloe with a few things from the Berkshire Eagle. Good morning to Connick. Let's review some of the Berkshire Eagle headlines from this week. The first article we are reporting on is Matt Barber's personal light show in Pittsfield off West Housatonic Street with 52,148 total bulbs being displayed for anyone to stop and see. He started this tradition in 2020 at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic to lift spirits in times where you could only drive by in a car, but now he's welcoming people to stop and enjoy the view. Lennox Community Center is hosting a Lennox Christmas tree lighting ceremony tonight at 5.45 p.m. in Lilac Park. Santa Claus will be attending as a special guest. If you're looking for, a fresh cut, for fresh cut trees, Fort Hill Farm, Winnie's Farm, Holiday Brook Farm, and Seekong Tree Farm are all great local options. Ryan Davis has opened a new shop in Lee which provides a section of comic books, trading card games, collectibles, memorabilia, and much more welcoming in addition to Main Street. And finally, in Lenox, for the first time at a high-profile park in a downtown Berkshire town, the Jewish Festival of Lights will be celebrated on December 7th in Lilac Park with singing, dancing, food, and live musical entertainment. After all that holiday spirit, let's ride our sleds back to the studio. Thanks, guys. Auditions for the spring musical, The Little Mermaid, are on December 5th and 6th in the Taconic Auditorium, right after school. If you're looking to audition, make sure you have one of the songs from the show, as well as a song of your own choice prepared. For student athletes to be eligible this year, they have to be passing five or more classes, including two or more core classes, as well as carrying 50 credits during their set season. You have a busted Chromebook? If you do, there's a link in Dr. Bishop's weekly newsletter with a form to fill out to apply for your new one. Still coming up is our interview with the captain of our basketball team, but first, a quick message. The Horticulture Holiday Plant Sale has opened. There are many fantastic deals that all of you should take advantage of. 12 to 14 entries are $15, 16 to 20 entries are $20, and 24 entries are $30. But there are not just wreaths for sale. A small centerpiece with red and white carnations are $15, a large centerpiece with red and white carnations are $25. And lastly, kissing balls will be sold for $25 each. Order online using the link in the description and to get an email when your plants are ready for pickup. We hope you pick up some holiday cheer to support the Conic Horticulture. Culture. Earlier this week, I had the opportunity to interview the captain of the boys' basketball team this year, Jarmal Sistrunk. Let's go to some footage from the interview. Tell us, Jarmal, the people want to know, what can we expect from the team this season? Uh, you're going to see us be contenders in the states uh, in Western Mass playoffs. You're going to see what you saw last year a lot again this year. So now that you mentioned last year, there's been multiple changes. Old teammates moving on, but you gained many in the process. How confident or optimistic are you about these changes? I'm so confident. Uh, a lot of younger kids, we're going to need them to step up this year. But other than that, we're good. Now, what was going through your head? Like, what were some of your thoughts after processing what just happened after winning the state championship? Oh, uh, it was surreal. It was a great day to wear green and gold. Mm. So, now, what was it like? What's it like to be under the immense pressure of being the current state champions? Uh, a lot of people have been talking about us, you know, over online and 
stuff like that, but we're gonna come this year. We're gonna get another chip. Excellent, that's great to hear. It was a pleasure to have you, Drummond. Thank you for donating your time. Now let's head back to the studio. Thanks guys, well that's all we have for you today. And as always, if you have any news you'd like us to report, please email us at TV at pittsfield.net. Remember to take responsibility, have respect, and strive for excellence. Have a have great, great day, day Taconic. Taconic.